Hey, it's Champagne again with another Learn to Play instructional video. This one we're going to be doing the class mechanics. Actually, no, I'm sorry, not class mechanics. This we're going to do a UI add-ons and profile sharing. So I went ahead and made a new tune. The name's Disco Bubbles, the Magus. And after this video, we'll go ahead and do a class mechanic for the Magus. Okay, so let's go and play. So, most of you, this might be your first character. It might not, I don't know. But, as we all know, we start off, and our screen has one action bar, a mini-map in the top left, or top right corner. And, to some people, that's great. Let's go ahead and get through a little starter tutorial. So uh, profile sharing is fantastic. It allows you to save a, uh, to, to use one profile for all your characters. The downside is when you change something on that profile, it changes it for everyone who it's sharing with. So, this is detecting a whole bunch of add-ons, like all the add-ons that I currently have. Um, if you're doing this, looking at this video through the Discord, I have uh, at the top of the Discord, there's a uh, add-ons channel that has uh, links to add-ons and also has my actual add-on folder. So if you were to use my folder, you could... Um, replace your add-on folder with that folder if you don't have any add-ons or you can just add my add-ons into that folder into your add-ons folder. It goes, uh, you've got to find what drive you have your Warhammer Online Return of Reckoning folder and then inside that you'll access the interface folder and inside the interface folder is an add-on folder and you extract all your add-ons into that folder and then, if you're already in-game, you go ahead and s type slash R-E-L, or Reload UI. And it'll bring pretty much up to this screen right here, where it says you have new versions detected of these add-ons, blah, blah, blah. And then you can enable them if you want to. And if you did that, then you would hit re-enable. Re it brings you up to the add-on uh, window, where you would then enable everything or disable, or choose which ones you want, and then click OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Cancel. So, if you're not using add-ons, this is Pure right here, and this is Zone Pop. So what you would end up doing from this point, if you want to move stuff around, what you can do is come up here, and go to Interface. This is where, of course, you get all your, your, your bars, your action bars. So, I always do five bars. And then I always take one bar and make it vertical. And right now you can't move it. And then I uh, will click OK. Actually, in this case, um, it might be wise to make that. It doesn't matter. So, click OK. And back up here, interface. You have uh, your layout editor. You click on that, and this is where you get to move crap around on your uh, your screen. So let's go ahead and start editing. Get this window out of the way. So all the add-ons that you put on pop up in the center of your screen. So you have to move this window, and then you've got all these add-ons. All my assist buttons. There you go. There'd be a bunch more add-ons too if I uh, if I had just uploaded all of them. So then, of course, things that I do is move stuff over. Move one bar, of course, slap it right over there. Our tracker, mouse over targets, mini map. Like I actually have a mini map uh, add-on because I don't necessarily like the round one. 
there, so I'm going to make those just a little bit bigger. Just left that down here. Take these caps. Doesn't matter. Anything you don't want, just shove it down in the corner. What you can also do is you come in here to windows and these caps. These caps, for instance, uh, your right and left cap. Find them. Left cap. You can hide it. Same thing with the right cap. If you are looking for something you don't know where it's at, you can always, uh, let's go with like morale one. You're not sure where it's at. You can always hide it and unhide it. And it pops it up for you. So you have a morale bar. And this is all of your morales. So as the bar goes up, it shows your morales. What I do is I have a morale circle add-on which allows me to move the morales where I want and I can resize them. So like you used, here, or used your morale one a lot and you want to make sure that you know that it's up, you might slap it somewhere on your screen. And then all your other morales, you place them somewhere else or just put them back down here. And then you just pretty much like the morale bar hide that because I'm not going to need that. But you move stuff around where you want it and then when you're done you go ahead and you click um, exit and then you save your changes and then everything's where it was. And then after you've done that you then come back in here to profiles and disco bubbles sharing you click on that and now, you go ahead and close that out. When you log on to another character, you start your brand new character. You start where we were originally, without all these add-ons everywhere. And then what you can do is you go in to Profiles. You find the one that you want, that you're sharing. For this instance, it could be Learn to Play DPS. Click Switch to it. Yes. Wait for it to reload, and now everything's right where you want it. Got my four bars, my mini map, got my little assist buttons. That's over there. Um, if you have warboard, you always want to do a reload, so you always want to do a slash R E L or reload U I. It's the same thing. And then you'll see the action bar, the war bar can pop up. There you go. And my character, my influence, and all of my DPS characters have this setup. Now, if I move this, this is an enemy add on. We'll go into to more add ons later. So, you've got the enemy add on, and I can move pretty much anywhere I want. And no matter where I move it, when I log onto another character that's using the same share, that will be wherever I just moved it to. So that's the, the dif difference. So I'm using pure for my health bar and enemy and friendly health bars. I do use enemy for a few things. So you'll see, like as you get in groups, you have your enemy groups. Uh, I use shared also, or squared, but I use that for healing. And instead of my parties being over here, squared, my parties are here. And the reason for that is I use a lot of click casting. So I don't want my, my, my uh, cursor way over here while I'm moving around, kiting, and throwing out heals. I can sit here and I can click on somebody. So I can double click and that'll throw out one heal. I can shift click and that'll throw out another heal. And I can just do everything right here. So that's a quick little tidbit of information about your user uh, UI. So you have your layout editor, which allows you to move stuff around. As you can see here, I got a lot of stuff that's locked. That's the stuff that is, uh, that, that's this color. This is all my locked stuff. Um, they're also hidden. Uh, scenario parties are hidden because I use the enemy that's up here. Uh, that's hidden. Uh, here's, here's my morales that I was telling you. Um, like I can move them around, make them bigger. Um, 
and a QQer, some assists, tidy roll, I really like tidy roll, that's nice, it's like when something pops up for you to roll one, um, you can left click and it's a need or greed and it's right click to, uh, or, yeah, right click to pass, left click to need or greed. Um, another thing that I do is I split my my tabs. You can grab a hold of one of these tabs and you can yank it out and create your own second. And what I do is up here in the filters, I turn everything off except for destro kills, order kills, damage from players, and my attacks. And sometimes I do renown and influence if I remove it from this one. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to see where at in the zone people are dying without having to like flood this with the other information. So like chat is only chat stuff. Uh, miscellaneous is uh, advice and system messages. I don't think I've ever actually used the RVR. So that's always a good thing. Remember you just grab a tab, yank it right on out of there. Uh, add-ons. Again, if you're at the Discord, you can go into the add-ons channel on the Discord. You can either grab my folder and slap it into your interface folder, or you can go to the Indrith's uh, link, and then that will give you a long list of, uh, of add-ons that you can choose from and try out. We also have a, uh, an enemy. The first link in there is the enemy. If you go through Indrith's and you grab that enemy, that's actually the wrong enemy. That's not, I don't believe that's the, an updated enemy. So if you use our enemy, um, everything will be up to date. And enemy itself is, that that's a whole other video all by itself. It's a great user interface. Um, it's not just throwing marks on things. A lot of people think because uh, the enemy that they're used to or from Indrith is broken, so all they can really do is they get the uh, party window and then they can throw marks on top of people and they're like, yeah, I can use it to mark people. Well, it does a little bit more than that. Um, let's see if marks still on, we just click on that. You can even uh, make your own marks. Um, don't use the purple because it'll permanently add a big old pink arrow on him. And then when you log off and log back on, if this person pops up on your screen, he gets a big old arrow on top of him again. But uh, if your enemy isn't green, then it's probably the wrong enemy. I mean, it'll start off red, but then once you join a, uh, a channel, like you'll go in and you'll join a scenario or a warman or, or a channel, and then what this does is, You'll have someone who calls targets with the macro up here. This here is the mark macro for enemy. And then there is the target macro. And what will happen is, is I'll click on a target, and then I'll click on the target, and then it'll send the message to everyone else who's in that channel on their screen. It'll ding up here. Um, you want, let me just do it so you can see. So if people were in the channel, which they're not, they come down here, choose a target, that's live. Uh, let's go with the Warband channel. Actually, I don't think it's going to work because I'm not actually in a party. Yeah, it's not. Okay. So anyway. Um, you would click on a target, you would hit the mark, and then it signal everybody who's in that channel with a big old bing, and then everybody would know to hit their assist button, and then your target becomes everybody's target. Okay, so there you have it. Quick recap. Uh, log into the game. Your user interface is just one bar. You come in here to uh, 
U for user settings, you go to interface, you go ahead and slap on a five bar cluster, you do whatever you want with it, however many number of buttons you want with it. Some people just circle buttons around, uh, do it however you however you want to do the setup through the layout editor. And once you have it exactly the way you want it, remember to go into Profiles and click that Sharing button. That way you don't have to do this with every single tune you use. And it's not even just the tune, it's the tunes that you have on this computer. You could have multiple accounts and you could still be pulling the same share from multiple accounts. Um, so yeah, layout editor, add-ons, profiles. Alright, thank you.